What are some interesting NSFW facts? Apparently, Egyptian pharaohs would masturbate in the Nile River to keep the land fertile. That's what I keep doing around my lawn, but the cops keep showing up. Gives a new meaning to these damn kids on my lawn. Only in our short of crops showing up. Try hair order. You missed the best part of this fact. The act was usually done in front of a large group of people. Backwards cowgirl is the number one sex position responsible for breaking penises. When you break 100 penises you get 5000 XP and a special title as a gift. Destroyer of Tilda World's Tilda Penises. Achievement Unlocked, Bloodbender. This is the one of the reasons reverse cowgirl is illegal in Alabama. That and you never turn your back on family. Some flatworms engage in penis fencing to determine who'll get pregnant. Loser get impaled with a detachable harpoon filled with semen. Makes for a thrilling high-stakes courtship. Enjoy, some URL. It's only solace, it's young will carry the genes of a master swordsman. I guess there's a reason Urbosa and Link wild swords. I just watched 3 minutes of flowworms battling and fucking. TF am I doing with my life? Grey whales reproduce almost exclusively through three ways of two males and one female. One male swims beneath the other two and keeps them buoyant, and when the other male is done, they swap places. Teamwork makes the cream work. You you the entire third grade class. Got your back bro. Literally. Bonobos have been observed to engage in face-to-face -face coitus and use sex as forms of stress reduction and conflict resolution. When I took anthropology in college we learned about social ingratiation of bonobos. The technical term is GG rubbing. The matriarchal female bonobos will scissor each other and rub clits to gain social clout. Same, girl, same. Clit clout. Napoleon Bonaparte might be buried in Paris but his penis is in New Jersey. The journey of his penis began when the doctor who was responsible for his autopsy apparently decided to keep a souvenir for himself. They could choose any body part, why they choose his penis. They do with it anyway. Probably because it's a prominent body part which wouldn't be seen during the burial process, due to even if the, the body is stripped for cleaning, they'd probably leave him in underwear slash cover his crotch. Note to self, have do not remove tattooed on penis if I ever become famous. Kangaroos have three vaginas. The outside two are for sperm and lead to two uteruses. The middle one is for giving birth. Some URL. Lesson of the day, do not search up kangaroos on rule 34. God forgive me for what I am about to search. Why would you need forgiveness he drew it up first. That's. Not wrong. <laughs>some penguins are so sex deprived they will penetrate the ground to hell with this i'm fucking the planet then an ambitious penguin probably most of the human race have been fucking the planet for years hope penguins are into the sloppiest seconds you've ever seen considering adele penguins are fine with necrophilia i don't think they mind sloppy seconds i once saw a documentary about a place in africa where the men would have sex with holes in the ground to make the land fertile Pigs can have orgasms that last 30 minutes. Extra yikes to the Prime Minister in the Black Mirror episode. Five minutes ago I was thinking to myself I should watch Black Mirror but now I am very scared. That one is really the only purely disgusting episode and it's the first one. The rest are mostly just mind-numbingly depressing, not disgusting. The show is excellent and when it's on, not many shows better. You can kill someone with a Brazil nut allergy by eating Brazil nuts and coming inside them. My friend made his girlfriend's face swell up when he came on her face after eating satay chicken the night before. She has a nut allergy. LOL. A nut allergy. Post nut Claritin. These are the type of comments you even open the Reddit app for. If you survive a bite from the Brazilian wandering spider, you will get painful erections for the rest of your life but I don't have a penis. Your clitoris gets erected. Cheating the system. It will affect a clitoris as well. The world's oldest dildo was a 20 centimeters phallus that was discovered in Germany. 
it is dated back to 30,000 years. The first dildos were made of materials like stone, tar and wood. Imagine catching a splinter. Ouchie. I'm sorry, tar? Thanks for going through your mom's panty drawer for this fact. Tell her it's okay to get a new one. Echidnas and platypuses are the only two mammals that lay eggs and produce milk. They are therefore the only two animals that can make their own custard. I have nipples Greg, can you milk me? Adding on to that, platypus, not sure about echidnas, don't have nipples. They have mammaries where milk comes out, but not nipples. I think this is the first comment I've ever really had to hit stop and rewind. There's more blood in an erect penis than there is in a rabbit. Not in mine. Maybe a smaller rabbit? Did you fill your rabbit with extra blood? Forbidden juice pouch. The average horse cock weighs 11 pounds. So what you're saying is the bard shouldn't have been able to use mage hand to jack off the king's horse while it was trying to pull his carriage through a narrow cliff passageway. Jesus, that's like a domestic cat. A domestic cat doesn't have a cock that weighs anywhere close to that. My cat is packing some heat. If you get someone to lightly stroke slash poke your inner thigh, your testicles will ascend due to the cream asteric reflex. Where do I get the testicles though? It's fine, you can borrow mine. As a Redditor, he rarely needs them. If you can't make your own, store-bought is fine. A cockroach has some interesting physiology. It can survive for up to six days without its head, and would die of starvation. At the back end, they have two tiny antennae called Circe. They sense vibration. When they do, a signal will bypass the cockroach's brain, and it will run before it knows why it's running. Why are you running? One time I was playing basketball with my friends at the school next door. It got to about 9 or 10 and starting to get dark. A car alarm goes off and this kid Abdurrahman just bolts without explanation. Then literally everyone started sprinting. We got to our complex and asked Abdurrahman why he ran. Just said, I dunno, seemed like a good time to run. When dogs copulate, the male penis becomes engorged creating something called the copulatory tie. It lasts for 15 to 30 minutes ensures the semen stays within the female, increasing chances of conception. Once saw a video of two wolves mating and the alpha of the pack came and interrupted them, the mating male dragged the female with his penis as he tried to flee. WTF Nature Edit, Spelling This is why breeders supervise the breeding. Dogs can freak out when they can't disengage and hurt themselves. This is a very well-known fact in the furry fandom. When a pregnant woman dies and is buried there is a such thing as coffin birth where the gases from the decomposing body will force the fetus out of the uterus and through the birth canal making it look like a birth had happened. I don't think this is common anymore in the first world as we now prepare bodies with embalming fluid and also I believe if you are far enough along in a pregnancy they will remove the fetus and either bury it in its own casket or in the arms of the mother. Is embalming standard everywhere in the world? We just throw our peeps into a coffin and bury them. What is the advantage of embalming? I thought those chemicals were all bad for the soil. People get to see the deceased for a few minutes, there is no real world use for embalming except to make the living feel better for the funeral. Embalming is not a common practice in Europe. I'm Dutch. When my parents died the burial directors, two different ones some years apart, didn't even offer it as an option. You probably know many animals have a baculum, penis bone. But did you know there's a clit bone too? Did you know that female hyenas have a dick? They give birth through it and everything. You shit yourself when you die because your muscles relax allowing all the waste to move to the anus. Imagine dying for a second or two and then you snap back to reality. In ancient Egypt when a beautiful woman died they would let her corpse rot for three days in the sun before sending the body to the embalmer. This was to discourage necrophilia. Hey! Can you embalm my girlfriend? Yeah sure, it's nice to see you already did the mandatory 3 day rotting period, saves me some time. She died this morning. Oof. What do you mean I'm not pretty enough to let decay? Sea otters hold hand when they sleep on the water so they don't drift apart. 
They will also rape baby seals to death and continue until the body loses heat hour later. Also the males will sometimes steal babies from the mother and hold them hostage and attempt to drown them in exchange for food. Hippos also do this. They'll drown the baby so that they can mate with the mothers earlier. Lions too as far as I know. Ah exclamation mark dot 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 what the fuck?